and I have no house, no kids, no car, and I don't even have a boyfriend. <sighs> Hi, are you turning 30 soon? If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Joanna, and this year I'm turning 29. I'm not turning 30 yet, it is just right around the corner for me though, and I have no house, no kids, no car, and I don't even have a boyfriend. And I imagine lots of people that are in their late 20s feel this kind of pressure, where society is telling us that we should have already bought that house, or we should have already have our life partner, and we should already be making plans for kids and as much of friends and family that are concerned for us every time they ask how our lives are going if we've saved enough to buy a house yet if we're seeing anyone new we know they come from a nice loving place but it can create pressure and it can create stress and it's hard because as humans we want to be accepted and loved and in some ways we just want to follow the societal norm when i was little i always thought i want to get married when i'm 27 because that's when my mom got married and after that I want to start popping out kids and because I'm turning 29 this year it's like there's no way kids are on the horizon at all there's no way a marriage is happening in the next year at all <laughs> and so it's like wow everything that I thought I would have had like the house the marriage planning on having kids soon like by this age like I don't have those things <laughs> and what I realized is that that was the norm when our parents were our age but that might not be the norm anymore and more importantly when i look back and reflect on who i am today like i'm really proud of myself owning a home and being married and having kids is like those are all like goals of mine and like milestones that i want to have in my life journey but it doesn't indicate that those milestones have to be done at a certain age like i look at myself right now and i think yeah those are my goals and i'm working hard toward those goals like i'm saving for a car i'm saving for a home like i'm open to going out and meeting people just know that you can only do your part and the universe has to like kind of do its thing for the other part to happen like as much as you can make yourself the perfect girlfriend or boyfriend like if you don't meet that person that you're compatible with like it's not gonna happen and you can maximize and optimize your life experience by like going out as much as you can or being on all the dating apps and making sure you're just open to all opportunities and experiences and people and walks of life for some reason people just focus so much on like what people think they should have at a certain age and that's just like not true for everyone like some people don't start their dream jobs until later some people don't meet their actual life partner until later in life some people will get married once divorced and then married again never compare yourself to other people and feel envious for what they have because a lot of the times they're not showing you the whole picture someone who gets married at 21 might get divorced at 35 someone who's single at 35 might get married to the person of their dreams when they turn 30 like everyone walks at their own pace and everyone has their own life journey like there's no need to compare especially because a lot of times people don't tell the full story of their situation you might see a friend who's married and has a family and a house but they don't tell you the crippling debt that they're in because of their mortgage and how they're struggling to make ends meet and they live paycheck by paycheck and maybe they don't tell you that their marriage isn't going so well that their husband or wife doesn't seem to care about them anymore the love that they used to have is not as strong anymore or they don't tell you how little sleep they got in the last night or the last 10 nights or the last 30 nights because they've been staying up all night taking care of their kids because their kids don't sleep through the night like there's just so many things and the same way goes for them to you they might see you and think oh wow she can travel and live her life and like do all these fun amazing things and be tied down to nothing whereas you're at home thinking I wish I was married and had kids and a home. Like at that point, happiness is like fleeting for everyone. Like no one is happy, but everyone thinks everyone else is happy. Right now, I'm at a really peaceful spot in my life and I'm just really happy for all the things that I have. Like the fact that I have a really, really nice, beautiful place to stay. The fact that I have an amazing job. My teammates are amazing. My manager is super supportive. The work that I do is super fun and awesome. Like my career is definitely at a place where I'm I'm really happy and I'm so happy to have this YouTube channel and like people watching it like I'm so grateful for you guys and I have friends that love me and care about me and support me and I think it's so important in your life to have friends
friends and have a community like you don't have to have a lot of friends like one or two really good friends is really all you need and looking forward yeah i want to get married someday i'm trying to find my life partner it's not easy especially after the pandemic it is not easy and when you're older it's harder the dating pool is smaller and also like you're more set in your ways so yeah it can be challenging but we have to be open to trying i am saving for a house i'm saving for a car like all of these things i know like if i work toward them they are just in the horizon like this is just part of the journey and if you struggle to get something once you get it it will be all the more rewarding and so i just really want to appreciate me for like who i am today and like what i have now and just know that everything that i want is on its way and i want to remind you guys no matter what age you're at like if there's things that you want to go after like go after them chase them love the process love the journey enjoy the struggles and yeah once we get that thing we're gonna move on to the next thing like there's always gonna be something that we want sometimes i fall down that rabbit hole too where i feel really depressed and i compare myself to others and i just think like why is life so unfair that other people can have x y and z and i only have x y and z and i think it's so important to not compare and not do that which is why i think social media is so bad because it just highlights people's like peaks and pinnacles of their life which is like not the full story and not the whole truth instead we have to really recognize the pros of our own situation so for me it's that i'm like financially free like i'm not burdened to debt or a mortgage like i don't have a husband that i have to like prioritize or plan around and i don't have children that i'm responsible for i don't even have pets that i'm responsible for and so like if i wanted to travel like i can literally go without feeling burdened by like any of those things so yeah if you're in the same situation as me like i feel you it's hard there's a lot of pressure there's a lot of stress there's a lot of anxiety but we just have to focus on what we have now and just work towards the things that we want so yeah be grateful for the things that you have and love your life for what it is like there's always going to be things that we want and some of those things are going to be big like a house and a marriage those big things are going to take time and I'm right there with you where like turning 30 can seem like a huge change in your life. But I'm here to assure you that on your last day of being 29 and on your first day of being 30, you will be the same person. So let's not let our age dictate our anxiety or happiness and live our lives. Yeah, those are my thoughts about turning 30 with no marriage, no kids, no house, no nothing. I hope you guys found this video comforting or a little bit helpful. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions or feeling anything similar, feel free to comment it down below. Subscribe to my channel channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!